Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I'm going to share the year 2020 memory based question for SEBI phase 1. This is the part 1 for the series of 2020. Earlier to this, I have shared all the questions for the year 2022 and the descriptive questions of 2020. You can check them on our uh, YouTube channel and can watch them. So for all those who are attempting this particular video for the very first time, I would like to explain the flow. So basically, I'm going to show you 10 questions in this video. The answers to all the 10 questions will be shown at the end of the video. In the time, you have to take pen and paper. And whenever I'm going to show you a question on the screen, you have to attempt that question. Write the answer, the option, correct option A, B, C, D, E. Whatever you feel like correct answer, just mark that answer in that paper in that paper and at the end of the video you have to evaluate your answers against the correct answers you have to give yourself a plus one for a correct attempt and minus 0.25 for a negative attempt so at the end i am going to show you that how much marks you should be having out of these 10 questions and if you are lagging what uh, is your skill like uh, you are average below average or doing good or you are very poor in your performance all those things i'm going to discuss at the end of the video this will be the first video and you will get such more four videos where you are going to complete all the 10 questions in every series by that thing and by lo that logic you will be having all the 50 questions that were asked in the year 2020 remember these are the memory based questions so question language might be changed but the concept that was asked will remain as it is so now without wasting any time let's start the video so the very first question that uh, is on, on your screen is about the scope of the variable. So you have to answer about the scope of the variable and these are the five options. Take your time. If you feel like you need to pause the video, you pause the video and then you attempt the question. Okay. So these are the five options in front of you. After that, the second question is based on the characteristics of tuple. So now this particular question is from the DBMS. If you feel like you need more time, again, I'm saying you need to pause the video and read the question properly. Don't take more than half a minute to read this question and answer this question and mark the answer in the paper that you are having right now. Okay. The third question is related to the shell uh, and it is asking how the program start in the shell scripts. So basically this particular question is very important and they are in the similar line of asking the questions with relation to the shell script they usually ask very basic questions like how the shell script start start what kind of basic shell commands you are using what are the different kinds of shell what are the different symbols are used in different kinds of shell so these are the basic questions that are actually in the line of shell so by this logic you should be knowing at least basic of shell from this perspective now the fourth question is about the constructor and deconstructor and there are several statements and you have to find out the correct statement about the constructor and deconstructor. Now the fifth question is related to the command that allow the rollback after deletion and this question is really very easy question because in this question you are getting the answer from the question itself. You should be smart enough to take the answer within seconds now. Question number six is asking you to calculate this command truncate 35965 then a comma with minus one from dual. So dual is a kind of table that is created without any name. If you just write it will be created. But what does truncate do if you are having this kind of command with dual? So this is very important question and here you have to actually guess the correct answer and there will be some kind of round uh, operations which will be done. So According to that, you have to attempt and mark your answer. Question number seven is related to the operator that can be overloaded. So we know that the operators can be overloaded. We know that the functions can be overloaded. So all those operators which can be overloaded are being very important because they play different roles in different areas. So you should be knowing which all can be overloaded and which cannot be. So this particular question gives you an idea about the overloading of the operators. Question number eight is about the Huffman algorithm. So this particular Huffman algorithm is very uh, useful. 
and for what purpose this is used what should be the correct answer for this thing like what is the purpose and where it is used how it is used that all you will be able to answer in this particular question now question number nine the number of swaps that need to sort this amount of numbers in the array using the bubble sort these are all the numbers which are actually asked for the number of swaps so what you have to do you have to actually apply the bubble sort algorithm on this particular question and then you will be able to count the number of swapping that can be done so here they are actually asking you to implement the entire bubble sort from this scratch this question will take at least half more than a minute if you are fast enough at then if you are not that fast it will take at least two minutes so you can pause the video can attempt the question or you can skip for now and can attempt later on as well last question for this video is just a statement asking you about the true and false so here you have a statement about data warehouse read the statement and then answer as per the question now i believe that all of you have attempted all the 10 questions now it's time for the answers and these are the answers please mark your answers with the correct one and do and marking evaluation self-evaluation I'm assuming that you all will be honest with the attempts. You are not playing around. Whatever you have marked, you will just check your answers against those things only. You're not going to flip your answers when the real answers in front of you. So now, after the calculation of your score, if you are below five, then you need a lot of preparation. You are actually lagging behind the competition. If you are somewhere between 6 and 7, you are an average performer that will not help you with the competition because in the competition you need much higher score so you need to buck up here. If you are scoring anything between 8 to 10 that is very good score but keep in mind where you went wrong because there you might be have done some negative and that can be corrected and that will help you to get a very good score in the actual examination. So this was my point of view about the scores that you all might be getting. Now you better know where you stand and as per your uh, complete situation now you have to start preparing in the correct direction. Now this was all from my side and i have some information for you that is like we are going to bring this kind of video regularly so do like the video if you want us to make more such videos also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever we are going to put any such kind of content that is very useful for you you will never miss any kind of update from us you can prepare 50 percent faster with our exam b by enrolling to our course that is sebi uh, 2024 comprehensive course you can check out that course on www.ixambi.com website you can subscribe to our demo course as well if you have any question just mention that in the comment section or you can also give us a call on the number that is flashed on the screen or on the web uh, this uh, email that is being flashed that is hello at examby.com so that is all from my side see you in the next video till then keep practicing and stay updated